Welcome to this screencast where I will expose two tempting shortcuts that simply won't work. I refer to them as counterfeits and they should be avoided because they don't guarantee that two triangles are congruent. To review, with the five legal shortcuts we introduced in our last screencast, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, angle, and hypotenuse leg, the two triangles always end up being congruent. Most of these legal shortcuts can't be proven, but they are accepted truths because no one has ever been able to produce two triangles formed according to a legal shortcut's description that were not congruent. Even today, if someone is able to produce even one example where a legal shortcut led to two non-congruent triangles, then that shortcut would be removed from our list of legal shortcuts. So by now, you might be wondering which shortcuts are the counterfeits. The two illegal shortcuts are angle, 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 and side, side, angle. Angle, angle, angle would mean that you have two triangles where all three angles in one triangle match up with the three angles in the other triangle. Though the two triangles might be congruent, angle, angle, angle does not guarantee that they're congruent. A visual example of angle, angle, angle is shown below. We cannot conclude these two triangles are congruent. Likewise, if I had two sides between two triangles, congruent, and then some angle that's not between the two sides, because notice that A is not between the two S's, so for instance this angle, I could not conclude that those two triangles were congruent. Let me emphasize that in both of these cases, the triangles could be congruent, but the marked information is not sufficient to guarantee that they're congruent. When you encounter this set of information, you just respond with, it cannot be determined, and we can abbreviate that conclusion as CNBD. Now I'm going to take a closer look at the two specific cases and show why we can't guarantee that they're congruent. A reminder that congruent triangles means that the two triangles would be the same size and shape. Here I have a diagram of angle, angle, angle. If I were to take the smaller triangle, triangle ABC, and enlarge it on a photocopy machine, I could produce the triangle that you see labeled PQR. Enlarging the smaller triangle doesn't affect the angle sizes, but clearly they're no longer congruent because they're of different sizes. In the case of side-side angle, you can see that in this triangle AB is the same length as it is over here, and this side here is the same as that side right there. And this angle is the same size in both of these triangles. But clearly, two different non-congruent triangles can result from having a side-side angle. Note One last note, I want to revisit the legal shortcut called hypotenuse leg. You can see that we have the right angle. We have the pair of sides here, and then the hypotenuses. So this is a hypotenuse leg in each of the two triangles. So that is a legal shortcut. Notice it can also have the appearance of side-side angle. It's worth noting that hypotenuse leg is the only exception to the side-side angle case. A problem to try on your own? List the five legal shortcuts and the two illegal shortcuts from memory as kind of a recap for both this screencast and the previous one. I hope you found this screencast helpful.